port in Brazil. <laughs> Oi, galera! Tudo bem? Now, today! Mano, we are here. You know, I was just thinking of things that I want to look at and see what they're like in Brazil, and airports came to my mind, and I thought this would be quite interesting to see how airports are in Brazil and com try and compare them to like airports in England, you know? So this was the first video that um, came up. It's called, Welcome to Brazil's Biggest Airport, GRU Airport. What does GRU stand for? I don't know, but bro, let's get into Ah, this reaction. That's fine. Very interested to see if they're different to Inglaterra. That's fine. More of that. And this is actually a video by the airport. What the bomb. Got it. You know, if you watch me now, you've got to get your, your, your daily Pepsi battle. No, drink water. Don't drink it. Oh, so this is, oh, so the, I, I, I just realized this is the largest airport in Brazil. The, oh, in South America. So not just in Brazil, in the whole of South America. Eita. São Paulo. I mean, makes sense. The biggest airport is in the biggest city. You know, that makes sense. Muito sense. Okay, that didn't make sense. Oh, what? Eita! The best airport in Brazil, I've got to say! It's looking pretty good. It's looking like the outside. Hold on. Like, that's pretty gorgeous. I love buildings where it's just glass, you know? It's just glass, the whole wall. Um, yeah, that's looking pretty beautiful. Linda. Linda or Linda? In the final Portuguese. Oh! So it uses English. It uses English and Portuguese. Portuguese. I think most airports use English, right? Because English is considered to be like, well, it is the, the language of the world. Um, so literally most places have English translation because there's going to be a lot of people, literally everyone probably, if they're going to speak a language, it's probably going to be English. Um, but I'm just looking, this actually looks very similar, like these shops here that you can go through. I'm sorry, but when I go to an airport, going in these shops is like the thing I like love. Um, so yeah, we have this in England as well. It looks very identical, in fact. This is a nice airport. Eita. Wow. Yo, this is a, a really nice airport, I've got to say. It's probably, it, it looks, by what I've seen so far, better than the airport like where I live, the airport that I use um, when I fly, fly away. Haven't flew in a long time because of COVID, you know, it's annoying. Um, but yeah, it, it genuinely is looking better than the airport I use. This is, a, this is a very good, clean-looking airport. I mean, it is the biggest slash best airport in Brazil, apparently, so it would make sense to be pretty cool. Latin America's largest air cargo terminal. Damn. This airport is like, it's, it's, it's a big deal, bro. This is a big deal, this airport. Oh, man. What are they doing? Bro, it's been so long since I've been to an airport. I can't even remember what you do in an airport. Are they scanning their... What are they scanning right here? 
Am I being stupid? Bro, I haven't been to an airport in so long. I don't even know. Is that their boarding pass? No. Well, I don't know. It's probably done differently in Brazil. I don't know. But yeah, hold on a minute. This is like technology hello. All of this freaking technology in these airports. Like, I don't know if all airports in Brazil are like this. But the, the technology in this airport is really pretty impressive. Damn. Eita. What's that? Facilities for passenger. Hold on a minute. What is this? Care ESO. What what is that? Executive lounge. What is this? What is this? And why does my airport not have it? Ah! Sorry! I, I didn't know we were in like a 25-star hotel. I thought we were in a freaking airport. What the... Okay, this is a very good airport. <laughs> I have now learned this is a very good airport. Wait, so, oh, I see. So there's a hotel with the airport. That's pretty cool. And oh my gosh, like <laughs> nice hotel as well, bro. Man, oh, like these rooms are really nice. Okay, this part here, the shops is probably the thing that is like absolutely identical to my airport. Like I, this literally looks like my airport here, where the airport I use in England. It literally looks the exact same. The the, the duty free uh, shop area. That's my favorite part about airports. I'm sorry. I just I just love going through the shops. You know, it's just fun. Um, yeah, I actually, I actually quite like airports. They're quite busy. No, I don't like airports, actually. Do I? I don't know. I haven't been to one in so long, so I can't remember. But, you know, I mean, if you're in an airport, you're probably going somewhere to have fun, unless you're on, like, a, a business trip. But that, that's still fun, I guess. You must have a pretty good job if you're flying across the world. Um, but, yeah. I just love being in airports, I think. It's the excitement, because if you're in an airport, as I said, you're gonna, you're obviously excited to go somewhere or you're excited to do something, unless you're coming home. Then it's like, well, we're going home now. But yeah, this, it looks identical, but I'm not gonna lie, overall, this airport looks better than my airport in England. I mean, there's loads of airports in England, but the one I use, you know? Victoria's Secret. We will never know what Victoria's Secret is. <laughs> I love saying that. Michael, Go wow, there is some, there's some high, high, high brands in this, this airport, bro. Wait, food and beverages over 103 options. What is that supposed to mean? Is that 103 different places to get food? No, no, not, 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 no, surely not. Casa do pau de queijo. Ay, ay, ay. Yo, that's where I'm going to be going, right here. Eu gosto muito pau de queijo. Eu adoro. Wait, they've got, the cards have got umbrellas. Whoa, wait a minute. Ah, oh, what? Is that? Yo, that looks so freaking cool. Okay. This is a very, 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 very good airport. <laughs> I, I, obviously, I've never been here just by this video. But what I'm seeing, this airport looks absolutely insane. 
Bro, if all airports in Brazil are like this, that's pretty crazy. I mean, they say this is the best one, so maybe they're not all like this. This is literally the best one. But I've, I've got to give it to them. I've got to give it to you, Brazil. This is a freaking luxurious airport. Damn. Oh, that's interesting. What airlines are there? So I guess these are all good. Well, actually, no, they're three. What are like the Brazilian airlines? What is that? United? It's not United. <laughs> United? Um, Gull? Volley Gull? Emirates? Okay. I know that one. I don't know any of those. It's very interesting to see what airlines there are. Like, I'm guessing, like, obviously there's going to be ones from other countries as well, of planes flying to Brazil, but obviously, like, the there's going to be airlines that are in Brazil that we don't have in England. Like, in England, let me try to think of some. We've got Ryanair, probably the worst one. Oh, my God, I can't think. I can't think. Thomas Cook, but I'm pretty sure Thomas Cook disappeared, right? They went bankrupt or something? Did they? I'm pretty sure. There's British, British, British Airlines. What's the other one? Tui, Tui. That's the one I used a lot. Tui. Uh, yeah, I can't think of any others. Can't think of, oh, EasyJet, EasyJet. They're like the five, I think, that are like most popular, but I'm pretty sure Thomas Cook doesn't exist anymore, right? I'm pretty sure. If you guys even know what Thomas Cook is, I don't know. Fifty million passengers a year, it said. Fifty million passengers a year. Eight. Eight hundred flights a day. That. How does that even happen? There's only twenty-four hours in a day. And you're you're you're, you're having eight hundred flights. That's like a flight every every ten minutes, bro. Actually, maybe not. Is it? I don't know, but that's a lot of freaking flights. Gull, Gulli. I see. I've never seen these airlines ever. Wow. Okay. 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 No go. I that was a pretty good airport. Like, damn. That that airport is definitely better than the airport I use in Inglaterra. Um, but are all Brazilian airports like that? I'm probably gonna say no, because this is apparently the best airport. Because in England there's some airports that are really good, there's some that are trash, you know. Uh, obviously the best ones in England are probably London, definitely. I've Actually, I don't think I've ever used the airport in London. Maybe once, but I used to use it in Bristol or where else have I used it before? Somewhere else, but mostly Bristol, if you want to have a look at the airport. It's pretty good, but I would say this is better. Um, but yeah, damn, Brazilian airports looking pretty good. You know, this could be the airport that I land in. Who knows? It's, there's a very high chance the place I go to is Sao Paulo or maybe Rio de Janeiro, Salvador, Recife, Londrina, wherever we go, we go. But bro, there we go. If you would like more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And ciao!